Sally is here working for the BBs with a chance for a gold silver here. Tell us about it. Definitely they the world this year. Now Buford out of the University of Illinois is in lane three. Button from Florida State is in lane five. Emmys from Jamaica is right between them. They're pretty even now as they hit that long straight. Deion Hemming starting to move out. Kim Batten is moving very well, leaving Tanja Buford a little bit right now. Kim Batten is moving very, very well. Yes, she is. Batten has taken it out, Carol, no question. And now Buford has come up alongside Hemmings. And now the two Americans, they're going to be poised when they hit this critical spot here at the top of the stretch. Can they make it a gold silver? This is their chance now to do it. They're at the top of the stretch and 100 meters to go, and they are poised to do it. Buford and Batten, Buford and Batten, Batten and Buford. They can do it. They can make this goal silver. They can do it, and here they are. Yes! A new world record! Holy cow! Oh, my God! 52.61! Yes, what a race! Unbelievable! The We're two American women have done it! But who won the race? It was so close at the end! It was unbelievable! Coming down the home stretch, Tonka Buford was having trouble with her steps. She was stuttering, and it looked like at that point she could beat Kim Batten. But when it got to the last hurdle, it was, who has it? Off the last hurdle, they've got about 10 yards left. I, who, who won the race, Brent? Did you see it? I mean, it was amazing! They split it. They went back and forth. They traded the lead at the top of the stretch they came back and they hit it it appeared almost simultaneously and both of them in one of the greatest developments of this championship have broken the world record and Batten has been declared the gold medal winner Kim Batten she is the winner Brent we talked about before the race of the race had lost its luster because because the world record holder wasn't in the race. Now, back in 93, we had that great race with Sally Gunnell and Sandra Farmer Patrick, but this race, incredible. Now, the official time, 52.61 for Batten and 52.62 for Buford. Now, both, both of them have broken the world record. There's the replay of the race, Carol, go ahead. Well, I'll tell you, I was worried about uh, Kim Benton out there on the outside because she didn't have anybody really outside of her that was really in the race. Now, she, that's Tanja Buford right there running well behind the other athletes. Now, she, she was running after Dion Hemmings and Kim Benton. Right here, Tanja really starts to move as they really shake Dion Hemmings of Jamaica, going into the shade, which I thought would be a problem. Now remember that lane five is going to win the gold medal. It's back. Watch them now as they come down the stretch, Carol, and they begin to change off the lead. Well, see, this is where the problem starts for Tanja Buford. She's running well. See her stutter right there. That gives Kim Batten an opportunity to get a little out in front of her. But Tanja comes back, but Kim has that excellent lead for a new world record. That is one of the most dramatic finishes I have ever watched with two smashing a world record, coming here without a buildup, and Kim Batten out of Tallahassee, Florida, 26 years old, 5'7", 125 pounds, and what a great triumph this is as we now bring that trackside camera down below with our two champions. Now watch their steps right here. Kim Batten is smooth. Tanja Buford slowing down. Losing speed with that stutter step. That gives Kim Batten the opportunity to get a little more head. Tanja Buford's head also moving, which will also make you lose speed. This world record holder is such a story. She underwent an emergency appendectomy back in June down in Brazil. She recovered in time to make the United States team. We were there in Sacramento with the new world record holder. And all we can say as we go to commercial is, Sally who? Third world record of these championships. Mark Jones is down below with two very happy women. Mark. Brent, I'm being swarmed by killer bees. Batten and Buford, a uh, couple of great performances. Kim, let's start with you. An incredible stretch run. Yes, it was. Uh, I just want to start by saying, I called my coach today and I told him, I said, Terry, I had a dream that I, I, I 
I've had the world record. And he said, really? And I said, yes. And I said, I don't know what to do because I don't know if this is going to affect my performance going into the race, if I was going to try to kill it early. But I said to myself, if they're going to beat me, they're going to have to really, really come after me because I'm going out hard today. But, uh, Tanja, you did go after her pretty hard, especially in the last few meters. Tough to be disappointed with the performance today, even though it was only a silver for you. It is very tough to be disappointed, but, um, you know, I, I just, I didn't have the same dream, but I really came in very confident and felt that I could win. And I wasn't thinking about the world record, so, I mean, I'm just happy. I'm still a silver medalist, and I went under the world record, so I'm pleased. <laughs> the best that I could do. Thanks for joining us, both of you, and I hope you told San Sally Gunnell that you are going to keep that world record a while, <laughs> not just borrow it. Put it under lock and key. Back upstairs.